Hi guys, Nancy here from Loombitious. This will be a short tutorial on how to make a toy bone for your miniature poodle and a collar. And I will show you how to make the bows and how to attach them on the poodle. I have a poodle without bows or a collar or a toy bone. And I will show you how to create it and how to attach it. I do have a very bad cold, so if I sniff during this tutorial, I'm sorry for that, but I wanted to do it anyway. So here I created a few toy bones already in different colors. You can make it white, then it will be a chewing bone instead of a toy bone. But you can decide what color you would like to use. I will be showing you guys how to make a green toy bone. So let's start. I will turn my loom for this. We will only need single double looped bands. So follow me. Only single double looped bands. We have to go down seven times. This is the third. It has to be in, in the center, in the middle. I believe I did go down seven times right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Well, get back to the beginning. Go diagonally upwards. Also double looped. Go down on the side once, double loop bend, double loop single bend, and diagonally make the same pattern on the opposite side. I need to turn my loom for this. And also go down diagonally again. And we have to do the same thing, but in, a, well, I will show you, just follow me. Go diagonally down here. Go down again. All double loop singles, but I guess you guys know, because I told it a couple of times. Just follow me. It's very tiny, but it will fit. In the mouth, I will show you in a second. But that's about it. This will be... <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. This will be the toy bone. It's supposed to be on your loom like this. Grab a single matching band and wrap it around five times around this peg. It's kind of tricky, but it will look better if you use it like this instead of looping it four times. But if you can only manage uh, four loops around this pack, that's okay too. So let's get inside that cap band. I loom kind of backwards. Grab the next double loop band, do the same thing. Then loom up the sides. First loom up this one, then loom up this one. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Then we can loom the center. This one will probably be stuck. So have another hook with you. Oh, mine wasn't. Like this. But if this one is stuck, use another hook to help it through. Continue looming upwards. Just follow me. Just try to see what I'm doing and loom those diagonalies first, then loom the sides. Loom backwards to the center. Loom up this one. This is actually basic looming. It's 
very simple loom backwards loom up the last band now grab a single or two bands it depends on I will try to do this with a single band you need to stick your hook through the pack in the center and we need to make a slip knot there with one or two bands you can decide yourself so you need to pull it through and need to create a slip knot there but it's quite tight so if you want to use two bands to be secure it will stay please do so well remove the toy bone from your loom because it's done already a nice green toy bone I'm only removing it. That's all I'm doing. Well, there you have your toy bone. That's all there is to it. There we have it. But now we need to hide this tying band. So stick your hook through some bands. It actually doesn't matter. We need to weave it through some bands there. Oh, I have a lot of bands here. On my hook. Guess this is the band. I don't know. I probably should do this over. Try not to lose that tying band. But sometimes it's hard to weave it through the way you like. Here I have two bands again on my hook. Which one is the tying band? This one. Pull it tight, not too tight, of course. Stick your hook through from the opposite side. Somewhere, pull it through. I'm just weaving that band through some other bands. That's all I'm doing to hide it. Pull on it a tiny bit. Well, it's hidden good enough for me. So there you have your toy bone, which actually can fit inside the poodle's snout mouth. Yay! I will show you how to do the bows right now. I, I'm using very simple bows. So grab a single bow collar band, just one. I will remove the poodle again. Wrap that around your hook four times, that band, like this. So it should look like this. Grab two of the same color. Hold it with your finger and simply slide over those four loops. Place it approximately in the middle, in the center. And this will be your bow. That's all there is to it. But now we need to attach it. Oh, you lost your bone. So, what are we going to do? Um, yeah, I'm going to explain this to you guys. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. I'm sticking my hook simply through the hole inside the ear. There's a hole there in between. You can stick your hook through that. Then grab uh, the diagonally bent. Try not to lose the bow. But grab one of the four loops. And pull that through. Am I doing this correctly? Well, it can be done this way. You can actually C-clip it now if you want to. But you can also stick your hook through some other loops. 
or through the side. It, do it doesn't matter as long as it stays there. Ah, well, that was the same place. You can also figure out how to attach it yourself. It ain't a big of a deal. But you can also C-clip it. Maybe that looks better. I don't know. Let me see. Where's my C-clip? I had so many. I still have a lot of them. But I will use a C-clip right now. Well, look how it's attached. You won't even see that C-clip anyway. So that's a good way, I guess. So I will show this again. Wrap around <coughs> a single band four times. Good use for your C-clips. Grab two same color bands and then slide over those four loops. Well, there we have a bow again. I'm gonna get another C-clip. Well, stick your hook through from the bottom through to the top. Grab one of the four loops. I usually take the one that's diagonally. Pull it through that hole. Hold it with your finger. Get that C-clip. And let go. There you are. A poodle with green bows. Well, we can also do one on the tail. The process will be similar, but we are looping a band around three times instead of four times. And you can also do this on the paws or anywhere you like. Grab two. This is another way. You can also do this for the ears. We'll slide it over, two bands, and then the three loops, slide it over. This will be quite loose, so try not to undo the bow. There you have your bow. But it's quite loose, so stick your hook uh, inside the tail at the... Well, actually, where it starts to get poofy. Go from the bottom to the top. So, like this. My hook is through like this from the side. From the bottom to the top. Then grab one of the three loop bands. Band. Grab one. Pull it through. You can also do this with four loops, of course, and simply push through the tail. This is another way of attaching bows, but this is also... I wanted to show you guys. This is also a way to attach a bow without a C-clip. But you will be able to see it on the bottom. But it doesn't matter, to be honest. So, there we have a poodle with green bows. And now let's make a collar. Here's your bow. Hold it. Well, let's make the collar. Uh, only use double looped uh, single bands. I will do the matching collar. And we have to go down 13 times. So go diagonally first. It's the first time. Only single double looped bands. It's quite simple. You have to make 13. You can also do this on your hook. If you know how to do that, that's also possible. But I will use my loom for this. Just place double looped singles until you reach the bottom of your loom. Of the matching color. You can also swap colors if you like or make a pattern in the color. You can do whatever you like. I lost, I didn't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So you should have this on your loom. One diagonally, and the rest 
down with a single double looped bend. Now grab another single bend with the matching color and wrap that around four times. This will be your cap bend. And simply loom up the entire collar. That's about it. I will show you how to attach it. I'm simply looming up the entire row. Now grab a single band and tie off. Make a slip knot. We will use this to attach it together. So remove this from your loom carefully because these are double loop bands. There you have your collar. Now grab your poodle here, get it around the neck. Stick your hook through the cap band. Like this, have all four loops around your hook. And then grab that tying band and pull it through. That's actually all you need to do. But now we have to weave through this tying band. This will take some time to do so, but stick your hook through some bands on the opposite side. And now we need to weave it through there. This is kind of tricky to do so, but take your time to do this. All there's left to do now is weave it through. So it will remain. I have to check how this turned on me. Yeah. So stick your hook through again, grab that tying band, pull it through, pull it tight. I guess did it turn? No, not, not really, but it actually doesn't matter how you pull it through. You hardly can see it because it's the same color. But you will have to do this a couple of times in order for the band to disappear inside the color. Guess one more time. And even once more, just weave it through. I'm forgetting one. So then it's at the bottom. There you go. Your poodle has a collar around the neck. You can actually, well, you can turn it around if you like, if you like it and to be on top you can do that I don't want that I want it to be like this so there you go a poodle with bows around the tail you can actually do that. I will do that later you can also do this one with four loops it's quite loose now you know what I will do that it's so easy to do so let's do that So I'll do a bow with four loops for the tail too. It's really easy and simple. I missed one band. Grab one of the loops. Pull it tight a tiny bit. And we need to through the tail. 
There you go. <clears throat> the bow is done already. So, guys, I hope you liked making the accessories for this poodle. A toy bone, some bows, a collar. Have fun. And please show me pictures. I would love to see the color variations. What you guys came up with. Have fun. See you in the next tutorial.